Hi, my name's Kai, and I'm going to be showing you how to solve the 4x4 four four and layer by layer method today. That's my little sandwich presentation that I got right here. It looks like layer by layer. Um, just by the way. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be showing you very detailed how to solve it. A layer by layer method, and, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to solve the four by four in the layer by layer method. So the um, first, let me just scramble my cube, and then we can get to notations. I explained all of that in another video on how to solve it, uh, how to solve the four by four in the Yao method. Um, but I'm going to show the notations again. Okay. So, the notations, as you might recall from the 3x3. Three three. So, first of all, you have to learn how to solve the 3x3 three three before, before um, solving the 4x4. Four four. Um, so, what we're going to do is show you the notations. So... My video for the 3x3 three three is on my channel, so you can go look for that. Um, so first, you know, like U, U inverse, and stuff like that. That's all the same. Um, but there's also UW, UW inverse. Because, like, UW is U, uh, UW. W stands for wide, because it looks wider than just this. So, wide. And then there's also this type of move, which is lowercase so and um, without fur further ado let's get started um i rarely say that word <laughs> um so you can put in the the um the center so first we're going to make this white center you, we can put in those pieces just like you would on a three by three so we can put them in just like a three by three. Then with then with um, the edges, what we want to do is we want to make them so that they're like this. So one's on the bottom and one's here, and you can pair them up. If they are not like that, if they're like if they're like this, what you can do is is put them both in front and do. R, in, uh, R inverse, F, or actually I'm just going to show you. So you're going to bring this one down here. You're going to turn this side and to bring this side down to the bottom along with this one, replace it down here and bring it back. Now, those two are in the same spot. You can bring them together and bring them back and bring them up here. And you can do the same with the rest. And you got to remember... If you look at another another cube, you can see what colors go opposite of what. So that 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 can help. So like red, you know, goes opposite of orange. So it helps to look at another cube. And so we can um, do that with the rest. and make sure they're in the right color scheme. A way to remember it is red, white, and blue. So that means, so you can be like red goes here, white goes here, so this side must be blue. Um, so I'm still matching up my edges. Okay, now you've gotten here and you can insert these corners just like you would on a three by three. I know you're gonna probably hate me for this, but um, you have to learn how to solve the three by three before solving this cube. Okay, now you can get to edges. So, hold on. Okay, so what we, our end goal for all of the edges to, is to them to look like this. So what we're gonna do is 
we're going to say this one needs to go over here because you're going to say this matches up with this. And just like on a three by three. So, so if you can move it down here, you know it fits right here. So that means it's going right, but you have to do this. You have to do the, the skyscraper algorithm from the three by three. So like that, except you're gonna bring this piece up instead of the outside skyscraper, so like that. Bring that one piece up as the skyscraper and bring it all down. And now it's there. You can do that with the rest. And, um, and you know that this needs to go here because this is, if you look here, uh, if you turn the cube like this, you can see this is on the first, uh, the second level. If you go here, it's supposed to go on the second level. So you can do the skyscraper algorithm. And you can do that with the rest. So like this needs to go here. So we can move that piece up there. like that. And you can do that with the rest. As shown right now. Um, and now you're going to be left with these centers that need to be filled. I like to call them buckets because they kind of look like a bucket. So you're going to look on top and you're going to say what colors need to go down. So here I have orange. So I can bring it. So if you want to bring this down here, so you're going to put it above this. So you're going to put it here and here. So these two need to switch. You're going to do that, that skyscraper algorithm, but with the inner two inner two um, blocks, and now it's there. You can do it with here. This one needs to switch with that. And they've switched. You can do that with the rest. Oops, okay. I had a lock up there for a second, okay. And then you're gonna get to here. Sometimes, sometimes you need to flip it over just to get a piece out, but um, here we can bring this bar down so you can bring it down a step by doing this algorithm. So you can put the white on front and that one on the top and you're gonna do R, U, R prime, U. And you're gonna repeat that four more times, so five times in a row. R U R prime U R U R prime U R U R prime U. Now it's down, and you can continue doing that. So this needs to go here. This needs to go there. We need to bring this bar down to here. And we need to bring this bar down to here. We need to bring this to here. We need to bring this to here. And we need to bring this to here. We need to bring this bar down. We need to bring this bar to here using one piece at a time, so this piece needs to go here. And the other piece needs to go down. And then you're gonna end up, so it's like this, last layer left to go. So once you get to the last layer, you're gonna look at two edges that need to swap. So you're gonna look for two of the same edges. So let's say here's a, um, uh, I can't think of the color, orange and yellow. Orange and yellow, here's another orange and yellow. You're gonna put them so that they're like this. And so one's on the front, one's on the left, or uh, yeah, left. And you're just gonna repeat this algorithm until they are together. 
and it may not work on the first try and you just need to repeat it that algorithm over and over again until it is there so like this these these two need to swap or need to go together so so this is uh, blue and yellow blue and yellow they need to go together so you can do Oh shoot, I forgot to tell you what algorithm it is. So the algorithm is um, LW, uh, LW2, D prime, LW, U2, LW prime, D, LW, U2, LW, and boom. And sometimes you need two opposite ones to go together. First, you need to bring this one here so that they're now they're together. So this one needs to go here. These, these, these two need to switch. Remember from the three by three, you know the algorithm they, that needs to switch those two. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, two, R prime, U. Now these two have switched. And now we need just these two last ones. So you do that algorithm. Boom. Now, on the top, you might may have a case that you don't recognize, where it's um, just one that's randomly flipped, one edge that's randomly flipped. You're gonna hold it in any position from with yellow on the top, and you're gonna do this. And and also, when I say R, I actually mean lowercase R, and when I say L, I actually mean lowercase L. Actually, here I'll try to pronounce it with the correct thing. So, lowercase r two, d two, u two, lowercase l, u two, r uh, lowercase r prime, u two r, u two f two, lowercase r f two, l prime or uh, lowercase l prime, d two, um, lowercase r two. Okay, now you're gonna have that same that that case that you have on the three by three. You can solve the rest like a three by three. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna do beginner's method here. Um, for all the guys that know beginner's method and don't know the big boy method. Um, okay, and then you might have a case where two are in the same place and these two need to swap. What? So you're gonna hold it in any position with yellow on the top, and you're gonna do um, lowercase r2, u2, lowercase r2, uw2, lowercase r2, lowercase, a uh, lowercase u2. Now you can redo the top layer uh, with three by three. So you can, now you can solve the rest like a three by three. Why am I still still doing uh, the beginner's method? Um, and then you can just solve the rest like a normal three by three by three. So I hope you in, uh, enjoyed this video and learned something from it, at least one thing, and at most solve the whole cube. And if you learned something from this video, and if you didn't, um, hit that subscribe button and like this video and uh, hit the bell icon after you subscribe so that you can get notified whenever I come out with new videos. Thank you for watching. And, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!